No next movie, Devil's Do, no, this is the Blu-ray and DVD uh, of Devil's Do. Now, someone said right here, very, very scary, Eli Roth, the, the director of Hostel. Hostel is a good movie, but this movie, not so great. Pretty lame, but yeah, so True Love Can't Escape Pure Evil. This movie is R-rated language and some bloody images. But I mean, like, there's not a whole lot of blood. The blood looked pretty good, but I mean, like... The movie itself isn't so great. Every once in a while I pick up a shitty movie on Blu-ray, uh, sometimes like these, uh, but yeah, not, I wouldn't recommend it. Anyways, uh, like the Blu-ray or even watching it in general. Anyways, uh, Hellraiser and, and Hellraiser 2. Now, these two movies I got, uh, the same time I got the piece of shit movie Devils Do. But these movies I haven't seen. I heard they're really bloody and uh, just really disgusting films, like really graphic and uh, just flat out disturbing movies, but also classic films like the horror classics. Yeah, I'm into like really disturbing movies and I'd say like these type of movies may do uh, some good. Alright, so, next to uh, 21 Jump Street, really funny movie, saw this in theaters, uh, I was like in 5th grade when I saw it in theaters, and it was awesome. I, Robot, remember watching this, like, as a younger kid, and it was really good, really enjoyed it, so, yeah, definitely worth a watch. Uh, Great science fiction movie and another great science fiction movie, uh, Robocop from the 80s, classic. Another great science fiction movie, uh, District 9. I really enjoyed the movie a lot. I uh, definitely, if you have not seen this, definitely check it out. Worth it. Insidious Chapter 3. Really enjoyed seeing it in theaters and right here. Still have the movie ticket from when I saw it in the theaters. The Simpsons movie, a really funny movie, enjoyed seeing in the theaters. Yeah, I saw a lot of these movies in the theaters, and you know, they're pretty good. This one's PG-13, so definitely worth a watch if you like the show. Now next movie is 300. It's been a while since I've seen this, but I really thought this was a well-done film. So definitely a, a good to watch on Blu-ray, it's rated R, but yeah, it's uh, pretty good. Now I saw this in theaters, uh, Batman the Dark Knight uh, Rises, yeah, this is The Dark Knight Rises. Pretty good movie, it has uh, Bane in it, yeah, Batman uh, vs. Bane, spec spectacular. Yeah, so it's uh, PG-13, uh, definitely... If you're a Batman fan, some may be disappointed, but I think it's good. The Dark Knight with the Joker, one of my favorite films of all time. You know, really thought this movie did a great with its performance. You know, uh, the Joker, Heath Ledger did amazing. The original, the classic, John Carpenter's Halloween. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, uh, yeah, this movie was uh, creepy and both really good. One of the favorite, my favorite horror movies of all time. Rob Zombie's remake, uh, pretty decent, you know. I wouldn't really recommend it to anyone, but it's still a good movie. Insidious Chapter 2 saw that in theaters, uh, you know. Like, uh, I enjoyed it. It was uh, even better than the first one in my opinion. Prom Night, good B movie from a while back, you know, I forgot when it came out, but it was good for when it came out, and it's a B movie, popcorn movie. If you like that stuff, worth a watch. And it has Jamie Lee Curtis in it, special edition. Hatchet, now this movie, the director's cut, okay, now this movie, I thought it had quite a lot of gore, and definitely a good uh, B-movie. VHS, uh, this movie, is, some parts were really good and creepy. Definitely worth a watch uh, if you like more modern uh, horror movies from 2010 to 2015. Visiting Hours and Bad Dreams, I've seen Visiting Hours, it's fairly decent. Bad Dreams, I don't think I've seen it. 
A Clockwork Orange, uh, one of the best uh, movies of uh, the 70s, Stanley Kubrick. Love this movie. Flat out amazing, uh, great for its time, creative and original. Now the last movie, The Last Exorcism. Way to end it because it's uh, the last movie I'm showing and it says The Last Exorcism, yeah. So um, I wouldn't really say this would really be worth buying on Blu-ray, it's PG-13. Heard some good stuff about it, but yeah, it's uh, fairly decent.